We're here in Minnesota picking Tom, and he's looking to downsize and get rid of 75% of his collection. I think I'm gonna keep that. Okay. It's the only pop Man, I have. That's strike three on me. Selling doesn't come naturally to collectors like I'm Tom. We've got our work cut out for us. Let's talk about some of this Halloween stuff. We've been to some people that collect Halloween stuff and got a lot of little plastic stuff and some jack lanterns. A few months ago, Mike was lucky enough to spot three of these paper mache pumpkins. These in this condition, $150 piece. Really? Maybe 200 bucks. Now, there's close to 30 of them staring right at me. You don't come across these very often. A lot of times I see these, but they're smashed, so let's face it, they've got 60, 70 years on them. Kids crunched them, they didn't take good care of them. And they're old, they're paper mache, and there's neat graphics on them, colors are good. I mean, what would you have to have for, like, let's say these three? I really don't want to sell just the three. I'd like to sell the entire collection. So all of them? All of them. OK. This is one of the biggest Halloween collections I've ever seen, and Tom wants to sell it all together. We have been so far apart on the prices today on things, so this collection is probably out of my league, but at least I've got to try. Well, what would you have to have for the whole, whole collection? For all of that, I'm going to say 2600 2600 There's 28, I believe. 28 of them. He's estimating these are, you know, $75 to $100 a piece. Some of these bigger ones, you know, the ones like this and that, they're worth 100 but these little guys aren't. Well, you're right, but there's some double-faced large ones here. I think these are probably worth more like Because they're double-faced? They're double-faced. This might even be 250 Okay. And also this extra paper, Stuff these deco the decorations, it. the... These are used for kids to get their candy. Yeah. These are probably from the 20s or 30s. There's three of Great those. Condition. There's there's some masks, the complete set. He's got a big time collection. That's a lot of years, a lot of miles, and a lot of aggravation finding this stuff. You've got a, a mass amount here. Halloween stuff is hot. You don't see that much of it. And to be able to find a collection of this magnitude and quality is very hard to find. 2,200. 24. I'm eating in half, 23. If he's willing to work a little bit with me, that way you're getting rid of all the stuff. Maybe we can finally make a deal here. Frank, you caught me at a really good time. It's a lifestyle change. I'm trying to get rid of stuff. 2350. <sighs> you're a hard negotiator. What's, oh, it's $50. I think they're great. I think you got a good deal. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. The way today started, I didn't think I was going to buy anything from Tom. But now, I'm walking out of here with one of the biggest collections I've ever bought. Do you have some boxes or something I can put some of this stuff in? Some oh, of these jack lanterns in? Yeah, don't worry about it, Frank. My son's here. He'll help us. He's like, we'll get you a box. He'll get it loaded up. Wow, full service. What's your name? Ethan. Ethan. Thanks for helping us. Yeah, yeah, that's son, yeah thanks. Hey, you, you've got them all in there, right? Well, most of them. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna probably have to come back again. Yeah. All right. Tom, this might be a guy that I might pick again. You know, he might come down on some of his prices. Good luck with the lifestyle change. Yeah, good yeah. luck. Thank you again. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate you. I think it's a great start, and it was a lot of fun. Take care. You too. Yep. They're uh, fun people to deal with. You know, that, that's one of the things about collecting. It's a social thing. See you later. All right, take care. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.